hopefully I don't have to do this again. And it saves it this time and lets me switch the disc. Okay. All right, saved. Damn it. <laughs> save it again okay let's see if this does something dude I didn't even know that thing could go that you know you're I can hear you Giovanni oh Jesus all right let's see sometimes you have to exit the game all the way for it to really save In this emulator. I hope to God it saved. Yes, it did. All right. Then we'll push both analogs in. And then I'm going to go to. This control. Oops. See, the select button is really B, not A. It always fucking confuses me. Because it says one thing, but the actual buttons are something else. Let me go back to that. It's a pain. I would fix it, but I'm afraid I'll screw something else up. Okay. So we're going to eject, and we want disk number two, if I do this right for once, insert, oh my god, I think it might have worked, I think it worked, please tell me god, oh shit, it worked, finally, I've only tried this 600 times. Awesome. Well, I figured it out. I only had to beat that final boss like a whole million times until I figured it out. Yay! Just, uh, I'm going to repost this um, because I could not find anywhere on the internet how to freaking do this. So whenever you have to change your disc and your emulator, um, the Super Console X Pro. You need to push both analogs at the same time. And then everything that I just showed you. Yeah. <laughs> and then, you know, pick the disc you want. But make sure you save, leave the game all the way, then go back in the game, then go to that save, then do all that crap. Because if you try to do it before that, it for some reason doesn't save your game and it won't let you. It says there's an error. I kept getting an error message. So I finally figured it out. I hope this helps. Bye.